Hey, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Akakudash, double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word in sincerity and truth. This is your brother Yasad, back at you with another lesson we will to define to the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Right? So basically, this video here goes into Easter is, is not of the Heavenly Father, you know, Easter is demonic, is paganism, right, Easter has nothing to do with our heritage, right, the word Easter, it has nothing to do with us, you know, beside it being, it, it was, it was literally, uh, um, it was like, how it was it a hey, constantine literally tried to merge our heritage with with the, the 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 christian you know um um doctrine basically you know the christian religion to to, to, to bring about that because it was using our our heritage and mingling it with 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 paganism Right? Because when we go to the account in Acts, it will clearly show you that that was referring unto Pasak, you know, which is actually the Passover. But how, where, where is that, that, um, custom, you know, deprive out of Easter, where that is not r recorded in, in, as being a, a a high holy day or or any um ordinance any feast day or anything in in you know in israel right so basically uh, on google here how do we celebrate easter it's a people celebrate easter in various ways including attending church services exchanging gifts enjoying festive meals with family and friends and participate in Easter egg hunts. This has nothing to do with, with us, with, with the Israelites, and anything pertaining to Yahweh Shemir. This has nothing to do with anything being holy or sacred, right? It has nothing to do with that. And this is pure paganism because we'll go into the, 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 the precept and then we'll go into. East, the Easter itself, you know, which goes back to Ishtar, right, slash or Semiramis, right, which is basically going into the, the, the God of fertility and these things, so we'll go down into it, you know, just for edification, right, um, let me see here, the account is Acts, Acts chapter 12 and verses 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church and killed James the brother of John with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. They then were the days of unleavened bread. What is this unleavened bread speaking of? You know, where, where was, where, what is this unleavened bread, you know, about? When was it mentioned? You know, the book of Exodus, chapter 12, chapter 12. Right, where where it goes into the the Passover, right? Um, the Mary get a essence. Exodus twelve. I'll just go through it briefly, you know. Um, 
Yeah. Exodus 12 and 1. And the Lord speak unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, Because now remember, this year is a is a high holy day, you know, and is a is is, is a is a, a sacred thing, a feast, a seven days on the hour by Shemeshai. Because this year was the the deliverance of, of his people out of Egypt. It said, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. So this year would clearly tell you, right, that at that time, the, 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 at the time of the eating of the unleavened bread would be what? The beginning of months, which would be the new year, right? It shall be the first month of the year to you. So around that time, right, speak unto, around that, that same time, it's going to be the, the, the beginning of the year. Henceforth, you know, which would be spring, making things, making things um, new, you know, making things new again, you know, kainos, to refresh, with three, speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying in the tenth day of this, this yeah, in the tenth day of this month, which would basically be, Going on to the um the, 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 the second Sabbath of the first month, you know. Right? Um uh, the tenth day of this month, the day shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers a lamb for an house, and if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbour next to unto his house take it according to the number of of the souls every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb your lamb shall be without blemish a male of the first year ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats and ye shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the same month and the whole assembly of the congregation of israel shall kill it in the evening All right and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it. And they shall eat the flesh in the night, roasted fire and unleavened bread. And with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw nor sudden at all with water but roast with fire. His head, his, his yeah, with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof, and ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning, ye shall burn it fire. Thus shall the Lord shall ye eat thus, and thus shall ye eat it when your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Right? It is the Lord's Passover. Or Pasach. Right? Um, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt. And I will execute judgment. I am Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And the blood shall ye shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when, the, when, when I smite the land of Egypt. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. So just as the... It was it was being kept as a as a memorial and a fish upon generation because that is a part of our heritage, you know, the Passover. That is why it mentioned in the Acts the the, the, the feast of unleavened bread. But speaking of this being as a memorial, you know, a practice in the, the, the righteous acts as 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 we did, you know, in March recently here. Which March be in the new year, you know? 
because <clears throat> around that time would be the new year you know that's why you would see leaves would drop off and look to spring again because in spring refreshment time right let's see it is it, yeah keep it a feast to the lord chalk your generations ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread even on even the first day ye shall put away your leaven out of your houses for whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day unto the seventh day that soul shall be cut off from israel huh? and in the first day there shall be an holy convocation in the seventh day and there shall be an holy convocation to you no man of work shall be done therein save that which every man must eat that only may be done of you right well, well i'm gonna go right. and ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread for it in for in this self same day have i brought your armies out of the land of egypt therefore shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever so this year is is, is our ordinance that that we ought to keep throughout our generation right so this is this is the feast of unleavened bread that that being mentioned in the acts chapter 12 and verses verses um um verses 3 and because he saw it please the jews he proceeded further to take peter also then were the days of unleavened bread so now we understand what is the days of unleavened bread which go, going into the the, the the time of the passover where it would have the passover service or the killing of the lamb and the roasting you know and and you know the eating of the bread and the the, the thing you know for so sprinkling the blood on the doorpost that you know when the death angel the death angels you know it'd be in your house and the host of heaven come you know the, it would pass over them you know the plague would pass over and it be it is being kept here as a as a ordinance throughout the generation right as being said here and when he had apprehended him he put him in prison and delivered him to the four um cartonians of soldiers to keep him intending after easter to bring him forth to the people and this easter here is basically is like a um a misworded i would use that because you know it mentioned unleavened bread so that is why it is good to go into words so here we'll go into the interliner right and go into that word into that easter right um, um right Strong's G thirty-nine fifty seven. Pascha Pascha Alright Pasach What you going into the let's read down the the Paschal because basically this is the um the Motus the the the, the Aramaic or the, 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 the um the, the the Greek you know the Greek well this one here the the Strong's H six four let's see that strong's h 6453 pesach pesach pasach basically which is actually the, the passover right so it said the paschal sacrifice which was a custom to be offered for the which is a custom may it is a custom because it is true out of our generation we ought to keep this ordinance right right to be offered for the people's deliverance of old from egypt the Passa pascal or the passage you know the passover lamb the lamb the israelites who are accustomed to slay and eat on the 14th day of the month of you know the the first month of the year in memory of the 
day on which their fathers prepare to depart from Egypt were bidden by Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to slay and eat a lamb and to sprinkle their blood, sprinkle their doorposts with its blood, that the destroying angel, seeing the blood, might pass over their dwellings. Yahweh Shai crucified is likened to the slain Passover lamb. Right, the Passover supper, the Passover feast, the feast of the Passover, right? Which also comes here now in the the Strong's right Pasak, right? The Passover, right? So so Easter, right? Let's say the meal, the day, the festival, or the special sacrifices connected with it, Easter or Passover. So instead of the word being Easter there, it's supposed to be Passover. Right? So the people won't be confused. So what are you taking part in? Where, where, let's, let's, let's like take a look at what being included in Easter and what, you know, the custom of Easter and let's take a look at the custom of, of the Passover and, and see the big difference. Here it is. Attending church services, exchanging gifts, enjoying. Enjoying in that time, you, you was in a spirit, uh, you know, making haste to eat that food because it was a bitter time. Death was, 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 was at, at, at the doorstep, you know. Let's see. With, with family and friends and participating in Easter egg hunts. Man, this is just a, a load of crap. Look at what we people are actually taking part in, which has nothing to do with the Heavenly Father. And, and they being deceived by all of this, this paganism. So let's go further into it, you know, because Easter goes into Easter. Easter. Right? Let's get that here from, you know, the brother sent me. I think this is from the Zondervan. It said the English word Easter is derived from the name Ashti. You know, which is um, Ashta. Ishta. You know, Ishta was introduced into the British Isle by the Druids. And there's another name for Beltis. Oh, right. Ash. Ashtat. You know, the, the, the pronunciation is Astas. Astat. Asta. Right? Asta. Right. Asta. Right? It's a. I'll read it all. The English word Easter is divide, derived from the name Asta. Asta was introduced in British Isles by the Druids and is another name for Beltis, right? Or Ishtar of the Babylonians. Many goddesses have displayed the same characteristics, all claiming the title Queen of Heaven. Let's get into the scriptures. Um... Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 11. Had a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. So the celebrating uh, um, Easter is basically celebrating Ash Ashta, which is Ishta, which is who? The, the, the queen of heaven. Nothing new under the sun. You know? There's nothing new under the sun. It's just a um, new gods being being um refreshed. Kainos. You know? In the Hebrew Kainos. You know, gods has been refreshed again. By the same old gods. Nothing new under the sun. Right? Look at the, the wickedness that our people, the Lord, says, you know, have no God beside him. Right? Have no other gods beside him. Uh, let, me, let me get back at that. And the children of Israel did 
evil this is in the book of judges chapter 10 you know which which showing you israel going off you know um judges yeah i had that whole 10 and 6 yeah per precept you know this would back that up you know the sound of one bible you know um bible dictionary cross reference in the scripture you know um so judges 10 and 6 and the children of israel did evil again in the sight of the lord and serve ba baalim and astaroth didn't we just read that what um right let me read further down and the children of israel did evil in the sight of the lord and serve baalim and astaroth which is ishta or asta you know ashta and the gods of syria and the gods of zidon which you know babylonian and the gods of moab and the gods of the children of Ammon, which is the japanese the chinese moab being the chinese right you know um zidon going into tyre zidon you know which which are uh, um harm children you know hamite it say and the gods of the philistines which are also hamites you know the ancient babylonians um you know um yeah and also going into the back into the kushite because kush also you know relate unto unto ham right kush was one of the sons of ham and forsook the lord and served not him right ash ashta or ashtarot the queen of heaven from whom the name easter is derived so who who are you really worshiping who are you really celebrating what custom are you taking a part into ashtasas ashtaroth is the queen of heaven to whom the canaanites had burned incense and poured libation you know right because and also even even solomon fall prey to, to this this demonic god you know this idol by by you know reverencing the idols are uh, are uh, uh, his are uh, his woman woman you know i'll get a content of that in the book of first kings 11 and verses 5 right you know 11 5 let's see um 11 and 4 for it came to pass when solomon was old that his wives turn away his heart turn away his mind after other gods and his heart was not perfect with yahweh but shemesh his power again all people have have um had them other nations change their gods which are not yet no gods they didn't but our people we the israelites have changed our glory into that which does not profit we went unto the other gods you know as as was the heart of david his father for solomon went after astaroth which is ash ash ishta or ashta which derived from um which all these things you know brought about easter right which is what the queen of heaven right the goddess of the zidonians and after milcom the abomination of the ammonites you know so so these edomites these amsala these japanese these chinese you know these hamites worship this you know and solomon did evil in the sight of the lord and went not fully after the lord as did david his father you know uh, um, you know another precept here uh let's see second kings 23 23 and verses 13 let's say and the high places that were before jerusalem which were on the right hand of the mount of corruption 
which Solomon, the king of Israel, had builded for Ashtaroth, the abomination of the Zidonians, and for Shemosh, and the abomination of the Moabites, and for Milcom, the abomination of the children of Ammon, did the king defile. Yeah, you know, because hey, just as hey, I was just looking at it um, here, you would see that, you know, let me see, Ishta, God of fertility, you know, or the Queen of Heaven, a multi, a multi feast goddess, Ishta, takes three paramount forms. She is the God of love and sexual, sexu sexuality, and thus fertility. Right? She is responsible. For, for all life, but she's never a mother goddess whatsoever. As goddess of war, she's often shown winged and bare arms. Right, so let's go here uh, with what is another name for Ishtar, you know? Inanna. Right, um, what religion? Let me see. Right, this here. Which 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 would show you that how backing up you know Google here backing up the the the, the um the the Bible showing you how it wasn't just the Israelites worshiping this God you know because it mentioned the Moabites the Ammonites here it is um um the the, the Greeks would call it Aphrodite the Roman Venus, the Canaanites, uh, Ashtar, the Elamites, Penikir, the Hurrian, Evalu Evaluant, Sh Shaushka, the Mandinian, Lebat, the Egyptian, Hathor, you know, and many different names for you, you know, the same, the same idol god look here look at a picture of it you know it would say she being winged you know like a like a total demon you know it would say goddess ishtar on an Arcadian Ak empire seal she is equipped with weapons on her back as a horned helmet is trampling a lion held on a leash and is accompanied by the star of Shamash, just evil man, you know, this wickedness, alright, let's say the ancient Mesopotamian goddess of love, war and fertility, she's also associated with the beauty, sex, divine law and political power who originally worship in summer, she was known by the Akkadian empire Babylonians and Assyrians as Ishtar, right? Occasionally, Logaram, her primary title was the Queen of Heaven, just as how the Israelites went off, you know, to saying unto the prophet Jeremiah, you know, that um, we, we, we would, you know, they would, um, let me see here, let me get it. In Jeremiah chapter 44 and 17. Right? I'll start at verse 44. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt in Patrus, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of of Yahweh Bashem Shai because they knew they knew the Yahweh Bashem Shai right we will not hearken unto thee precept the background up in the book of Romans chapter 1 and they say these are the reason why the Lord is going to bring sword judgment upon this place Romans 1 and 25 now so let me start at verses Twenty-one, because that when they knew Yahweh Bashemi Oshai, 
they glorify them not as as power as god what are they saying here what are they saying in the jeremiah 44 so like i'm gonna pull it up in the blue letter bible Jeremiah 44. Mm. Just read it. Forty-four and and verse sixteen. As for the word, right, that thou has spoken unto us in the name, they knew Yahweh by Shemir Shai. Of of the Lord Yahweh by Shemir Shai, we will not hearken unto thee. And the NLT says, we will not listen to your message from Yahweh by Shemir Shai. Right? Verse 17 in the KJV. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven, unto Ishta, unto or, 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 or Ashta, or Ashtaroth, you know, which, which, which brings about Easter, you know, the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done we and our forefathers our king and our princes in the cities and in the streets of jerusalem for we for then had we plenty of victuals and were well and saw no evil that is what they taught in the nlt jeremiah 44 17 we will do whatever we want we will burn incense and pour out liquid offerings to the queen of heaven to, to Ashta, you know, to, to Ishta, to, to Astaroth, you know, the same, same God, you know, right, the Queen of Heaven, just as much as we like, just as we and our ancestors and our kings and our officials have always done in the tongue of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, because Jerusalem, hey, our people are, are very wicked, you know. For in those days we had plenty to eat and we were all well off and had no troubles. As the scriptures say, you know, and they were, they were wicked men, you know, that went and make a covenant to the heathen. Right? And I I just sit in this time. But these we we people not even making a covenant to them. We people just being sottish. As it's in Jeremiah 40, um, 4 and 20, 22. Right? Um, German 4 and 22 and, and German 4 and 22 for my people is foolish so you read you read you read Easter to the bottom, you run off celebrating Easter. But what about the verse higher up that, that spoke about the, 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 the unleavened bread? What was that representing? Had you not researched and gone into the word Easter, which would relate unto the Passover? It, it even backs it up, telling you up in the higher verse, you know, it was um, the, 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 the days of unleavened bread right let's see they have not known me because hey, the old people refuse to know yahweh bashem and shai and the time they is gonna come that they're gonna crawl they're gonna beg they but hey <laughs> wow i just can't wait to see the times when real terror come upon these people what they're gonna do that the time when they're going to call upon yahweh bashem and shai they're going to seek him early, but then you're not going to find him. Because now is the time for you to turn from your wicked ways. You know his wickedness. You demons know his wickedness. 
but you, you still want to indulge in it. That's why great judgment is coming to a lot of you, and especially you women. You know, especially you women. It's saying they have none understanding. Oh, I mess up. It said they are sottish children. They are stupid children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. Just imagine they being bold. Saying, hey, do you, we don't want to hear you. Creator of the, the, the heaven and the earth. We go do according to our own wicked hearts. Just imagine that. It said, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And hey, what? A fool reject knowledge. And that's what they are. They just want to be caught up with the filth that they they, they, they being taught. And, you know, they join it because, you know, that's why it says, um, they love darkness rather than light. So when this light come out, now they, they don't want to flee. Right? First Corinthians 12 and verses 2. Yeah, probably step here, you know, because that is, what, that is what going on with our people. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. We've been in a hedonistic mind frame. You know? We've been as the heathens. As the scripture says, learn not the way of the heathens. For the custom of this people is vain. Right? It's a carried away. Unto these dumb idols, even as you were led, because what we been they been carried away, and they have plenty of them know, you know. We, um, in the NLT, First Corinthians twelve and two, ye know that ye, that when you were still pagans, because this is paganism, ye were led astray and swept along in worshiping speechless idols. How, how plain could the scripture be to you all? How plain could it be? You know? How plain could it be? Right? But hey, let, let me just close off with that two precepts, you know? That precept that are, that are quoted, you know? When say they're going to seek me early, but uh, you're not going to find me. Proverbs chapter 1 and 28. Right? Uh, uh, let me see. Let me start at verses. Proverbs 1 and 24. It said, Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Right now the Lord is calling. Look, the prophets out here making various videos, shedding a light, bringing out the truth. You know, debunking all the lies. You know, because the Lord set our foreheads, you know, stronger than... And, and, than all the foreheads out here, you know, with these false doctrines, you know, no lie of the truth. Let's say I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. it. The Lord said that um, 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 he set up watchmen that wouldn't hold the peace day nor night until Jerusalem become a praise. That's why you're seeing every minute, every hour, brothers' videos just going up. That's why it says we not hold any peace day nor night. Always some edification, also always some shedding of light, always some exhortation, you know, going out there. We being watchmen, taking heed of what going on right around the, the world, you know, and bringing back the report. It said, but ye have set at naught all my counsel, just as how Jeremiah went unto them. You know, what would they tell Jeremiah? We don't want to hear where, where the Creator of heaven and earth had to say, we're going to do according to our own hearts. And what the, the heart is, is the most deceiving thing. And with none of my reproof, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. And that time is coming. I was reading out earlier on in the Ezekiel chapter 14. Very serious scripture because not new under the sun. The Lord is going to bring down the four plagues. You know, which 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 goes into everything, you know. Um, I got that Ezekiel coming on to the last 
Ezekiel chapter 14 come on to the last set of verses right where it say Right. Ezekiel 14 and 21 For thus said Yahweh Bashem and Ushai How much more when I send Four sword judgments upon Jerusalem The sword You know He saw the, 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 the draconian laws the, 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 the military Being out on the streets You know There's going to be wars Taking place There's going to be farming noisome beasts and the and pestilence to cut off from it man and beast and the, that time is coming right that time is coming you know so when that time come if there's great farmings upon the land you know sword the neighbor destroying a, a neighbor house because of the lack of bread you know a lot of newly created viruses and disease out in the streets you know what would be your case after when you hear the truth about easter you worshiping the, the queen of heaven you know you 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 reject off your bashim el shai because hey, the lord say um um that he are the ones that kill the prophets you know because hey, they hated jeremiah because Jeremiah come out and, and, and tell them about the wickedness. You know, he, he built the, the tomb for the for the for the for the um the prophets. You know. I'm gonna close off with, with the prophet one. Right, um Right, was doing it. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they will not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh by Hashem or Shai. Right? Yeah. You know? Hopefully, this lesson was edifying. Double and say, elders and apostles are great millstone. Salutation to you, Archeon, pushing this word in sincerity and truth. All praises, all glory, all honor belong unto Yahweh by Hashem or Shai, by Hashem or Shai. Yeah. Shalom.